This is actually pretty good. Good combo. Uh, we probably can use two trebuchets. Uh, that's again, really good combo. But do I want to look into some better cards? God. I really like the cards in this deck. Do we play Bin Halm of Atre? Because he is just crazy value generator. You can also play this dude. And just boost him once. No, no, no. Let's just go with Wind Halm of Atre. In the back. Oh, fuck. I forgot to boost him. Not sure why it's even being discussed now. Todd made a vid about how they have new technology. Ooh, people are gonna get bored. I think, I think, uh, Todd definitely wants to make some noise because people are already a little, uh, annoyed that, uh, Bethesda is ignoring their, uh, most profitable franchise. Is it just gonna blow up the cat now? A lesson in humility coming. Well, that could be coming to my side soon. Doesn't matter too much. Oh crap! Reinforced trebuchet would take up the shield of uh, Windham Fatra, so maybe not. Maybe do a botch line. Doesn't care where he goes. So many boosts. Not sad. Fallout 76 is doing great. It just works. <laughs> oh crap. Oh, well, it worked. Two arms. Maybe we're just gonna do that. We ah! good. I'm not sure what's gonna be the next move. Probably should be the most impactful one. Actually, if I boost the botchling now, with the intention of passing, that could be fine too. So we can justify playing the trebuchet. We have two things we can do. Let's just boost the trebuchet. And this way, the three dam gets boosted. And I think after this we are passing. And even if he continues playing, we are generating five value. That's five big ones every turn, which is just insane. Are they perhaps uh, players uh, one of the medieval RPG and Bethesda provides Skyrim on new consoles? Well, they are making a sci-fi too, so uh, they definitely well sit on the Skyrim uh, release. Well, uh, after Skyrim release, they just like nothing for a long, long, long time. But finally, they are some making some games, I guess. We're still waiting for Skyrim for fridges. Well, isn't that only possible? <laughs> Can you just put a, like a a pad on your fridge and play some Skyrim there? You're an ancient dress. Go away. Maybe don't go too crazy about it. Let's pass. Yeah, we just want a long round. This is a really long round deck. And we also have some protections, so I kind of like it. Do you guys still play Skyrim? 
I kind of feel like playing some Skyrim now. But I'm not sure what. If anything, if, if there's one thing that I... Now Skyrim, not, not only an excellent game by itself, but also... It's very... feels very good to play. They did a really good job with it. If, if there's... If, if I played something in Skyrim, I probably wouldn't play Skyrim. I would probably play Enderal. Because apparently it has a... It has a, like a Forgotten Stories uh, part to it. And I have never played that. And Endro was like jaw-droppingly awesome. Hmm. Well, that could be really good. Well, I always have some better cards in there. Uh, that's not necessarily one of those. I find. Good Natura. So we can play a watchman in the back. I just boost him a little bit. Our intention is to get the Visigota and uh and of course, shield it. Cyberpunk 2077! It's coming in 2077! Oh, it's only nearby. This needs to be on range, right? That's forum play. It's not great, but like it can get stupidly crazy. It's the the fight between the girls. We got uh Penta Boob. Uh only one out of five face. And also we got uh we can't really see her. This is cheating. Let's go Ragnarok. We can, if we can set up some Anna Stranger with a double Trident, that would be pretty sweet. I think Ragnarok is gonna be okay value. Partially because it sets up the Lacerate. Inadala. Destiny is unswerving. Cheated. It will not be. Trident! Okay. Next turn, it's gonna be Anna getting boosted and shielded. Actually, this knighthood is not that great. Oftentimes, you'll have other units on the row. So, should we go with even more shields? I don't know, that might be too much. More lacerates. I don't know. We can put in the Lady of the Lake. Fuck, that's not good. Anna is so good. She's like... She's almost break-even on play. We are knighthood. Well, it did miss the Tridum, but it also made Anna reasonably strong.
Big boost. Fine. So let's do the try them. And I guess we're gonna boost this try them. Doesn't matter too much. I can boost the other one. Let's boost the other one. Machine guns! Do it! It's strong! Look at that. Look at that combo. And it's two points, but the other two guys are two points too. Like this. Four point value generation. That can't be happening for a long time. Oh, he is playing around. Wait. What am I doing here? Do I want to potentially hit for more? Does he have any way to damage me? That's still a lot of points on his side. That's why I think that maybe we need to step it up. This is this is boring deck. attack now? I think not. But we're gonna have a 12 point lacerate, no likelihood. We could actually possibly justify using uh, Hubert as well. So, off wrist, lacerate, and Prince Anseus is not... Prince Anseus is not that picky. Okay. It works! We can definitely beat big fatties. Which is uh, really good news. OGG. Alright, that just goes away. Maybe that goes away as well. So... Yeah. If you play Spellforce 3, if you want to play One Punch Man, killing the entire world while having some ad awesome adventure, while also playing some mediocre... Uh, uh, RTS game, real-time strategy game. With some... Well, a little bit like mediocre uh, roleplay. Role play. But I had fun with it. Because what I really liked about Spellforce P, although it wasn't, it, was, it wasn't as polished, it was fun. They, they made it fun. And that's, that's good. Because, you know, there are like TV shows that you just watch and like, Okay, Star Trek Discovery. Let's just, let's just bring up Star Trek Discovery. It is just a soulless piece of garbage. But other things are actually pretty charming. Like, uh, you can watch Z Nation and it's like completely different. Although these are probably not great examples. Star Trek Discovery probably more so. But I suppose I can bring up maybe Orville. That would be more popular. Just like something that's like actually fun. So, I actually enjoyed Spellforce 3, and I finished it, so... And that d doesn't really happen with a lot of games, for me. So... Hmm, let's just try to kill that. I don't play Metro games. Enough for me. Did you guys like Metro Exodus? I got the happy ending and it was fun, yep, I, it didn't leave a lasting impression on me, like the previous games. Um, I can't say I, I'm crazy about the Metro series.
I, I, I played uh, the previous ones, or at least one previous one, but I, I didn't finish it, so... It was okay. I think they're okay games. I, I'm just usually more about strategy and story and characters. Oh my god. I basically play games just to enjoy the characters. If there's like one good character in a game or a movie, the story could be like complete crap. That's just kind of high high roll because I, I can really enjoy a good character that just like just shines. Wait. Okay, we're not gonna use the boost right now. Tyranny? Uh, I enjoy Tyranny a lot. I'm actually wondering if I missed so much in Tyranny or I don't know. Was it an awesome game or was it just a good game? Because I felt like the end of Tyranny wasn't as great maybe. But I did very much enjoy the unique aspect of it. Of, I wasn't really the bad guy, but I was more like the... It was kind of getting there, because I wasn't really the bad guy at all. But I was more like the ends justified the means. To the point where I'm I'm really justifying the means here. And, you know, I'm killing you guys just to save some other people. You know, that's just kind of how it goes. And no, like, no, 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 no. I, I wasn't a nice guy, I guess. I also played the other games that are very similar to it. Pillars of Eternity and Pillars of Eternity 2. Holy fuck. Would I recommend those? Yeah, Z Nation is great after a hard day at work. Well, finally! I thought that you guys are gonna be like, oh, what is that? But no, one of you actually know what that is. Yeah, Tyrion is an awesome game. Okay, I'll just pass. Yeah, let's just pass and we're gonna play one card next turn. It, it could have been even possible that we killed the dwarf. Hmm. I don't know what we are keeping here and what we are throwing away. What are we looking to get? Well, there's always so many good cards in the deck. I guess I'm looking to get a lot of things. This is technically better than the Enchantress. Your arrow shall fly so, and I just play the Enchantress. And then we're gonna pass. Coexistence, my ass! Oh, fuck. Yeah, the last chapter felt a bit rushed. The only problem is that... I don't want- well, god damn it, I don't want to spoil it. I felt like it was going in a way that I was a little bit, uh... Oh, what's the word for it? We Deus Ex. Machina, maybe. It, it felt lady a little folk. bit too convenient. And also like, what? Well, how did that happen? So Adam, you must love Tommy Vizau then? Uh, no. Shield is good. Wow, that's pretty damn awesome. So... Maybe we're just gonna go with this. This is such a weird hand. I only love myself. Well, you gotta love yourself. If you, if you don't love yourself, then... You can't love anybody else. Right? 
Good character in a shit story, the room. Just like you said. Should I really give it a shot? I think I kinda heard that it's it's a really bad movie. Well, of course you can uh what we what we classify as a good character as uh as you know, it's kind of subjective. Oh, very good question. Very good question, I think. Or at least very interesting one. If you had to bring up three characters from anything, maybe not books, maybe not books, just something, characters that were, were in a TV show or movie or whatever. Which ones would make the cut? As the top three, the best characters that can carry any story or carry most stories. Careful, the moth. Don't trample it. Or is not moving, obviously. Oh, well, I can't get shot down, but it's fine. Combination of that and four damage, which... Oh, pretty common. Been the home of Atre. We're good. Oh, you guys are silent. No one knows the best characters. It's not an easy question, is it? Oh, that's really annoying. Prince and says. I think we gotta blow up the sentry. Next figure will be Zagota. Pretty damn powerful. I don't likely this is gonna die. Her story? Oh, the computer? Oh, I agree. Not the computer, but the guy too. I suppose. Scarlett Johansson definitely did an excellent job with voice acting there. Or, I believe it was her. Here out of Rivia. Mo from Inkheart. I suppose it can be fair to say games too. But that would even further make it more difficult to decide. Damn. Just boost Anna. Like, at least one of the value generators should stay up. Okay, so he's now focusing on Ana. I'm thinking he doesn't have a lot of damage. Mm. Well, I can't really be sure that he doesn't have a way to shut down Ana or Visigota, so we're just gonna take what we can get right now. Are you guys excited for Bloodlines 2? Holy shit, it looks awesome! Have you guys played Bloodlines 1? I, I guess there was like definitely a talk before of uh, at least some of you playing that. Which is definitely the right thing to do. Mm. 
Come on. What? It's weird. Oh. Skeleton is gonna be pretty strong. Is he still trying to shut down Anna? Anna? Girl from the books? The best vampires game? <laughs> yeah. Like, the best vampire game of all time. Uh, that game is... Oh, this is gonna get punished by a, a trap, but... Would it make more sense to play it... ...in the back? No. Actually, we should play it over there. These dogs have no honor! Okay, the boar is getting shot. Ah, uh, just just get getting hit. Ragnarok was decent. Oh, that's actually pretty good. I was fearing something stronger than that. <sighs> okay. Rip, black rip. Yeah, pretty damn rip. Oh, we got one more. Also, we're gonna get. One more. God damn it, Ragnarok hit! We always got one more, but it wasn't enough. Did I do any mistakes? They were like pretty obvious. Anyway, it was close. If he could have killed the boar, that would have helped a lot. GG.